Okay, fourth graders, today is Monday, December 9th, and we are continuing right along with our Module 3. Do you guys feel like Module 3 is going on forever? There are so many lessons in Module 3, right? But today we're going to continue, and we've been spending a lot of time working with division over the past couple weeks. And today we're really going to examine and think closely about what division means and to think about what what does sharing division mean, and what does grouping division mean, okay? And on Zern, I think you had a preview of this. They use slightly different words. They say if it's the group size unknown or the like size, size. size of the group unknown. And I'm going to translate that into our own language for you, okay? Good. So now that we know that the question is asking us to find how many milliliters of medicine are in each container, we can draw a model by showing that all together we have 1,868 milliliters of medicine. And we want to divide it equally into four containers. And we're trying to find out how much is in one container. So let me ask you a question. Is this a sharing problem or grouping problem? Do we know the number of groups? How many groups are there? Everyone? So if we already know the number of groups, then this must be a sharing division problem. Very good. Okay? So in your for step two right now, right, this is a sharing problem because you could write something like this is a sharing problem because we're trying to find out how much medicine can be shared equally into four containers. Now, if we solve it, we know we have to take our total number of milliliters, which is 1,868. That's our whole, and we're dividing it by our divisor, which is four, into four equal groups, right? So let's go ahead and divide. Can we divide 1,000 into four groups? Yes or no? No. So we have to regroup. We regroup it into 18. 18 what? Good. So what's 18 divided by four? Everyone? Go ahead and just shout it out when I ask, okay? Good. So when we do that, we have four hundred four hundreds in each group. Four times four is? So we used up 16 of them. How many are left? Two. two. We can regroup those two hundreds to become 10, I mean 20 tens. And so if we bring down the six tens all together, how many tens do we have? 26. 26. What's 26 divided by four? Six. Six times four is? 24. We have two left over. Those two tens can become 20 ones. And we bring down the eight ones we already usually had. We have 28 ones. What's 28 divided by 4? Seven. 7. 7 times 4 is 28, which means our remainder is 0. So what I think the answer should be is 467 milliliters of medicine. But how can I check my work? How can I check to see if that answer is truly correct? Kashyap? 467 times 4. Ah, if we do 467 times 4, and if we end up with our whole, then I know my answer is correct. Let's go ahead and do that. What's 4 times 7? What's 4 times 6? 24 plus 2? 26. 26, good. What's 4 times 4? 16 plus 2 is? 18. So 1,868. Is that what we want? 1,668. Good. Check. So we always will follow the same steps. We're going to figure out what the question is asking and the important information. We're going to draw a model. We're going to decide is this sharing or grouping and why. And then we're going to solve the problem and check our work. Make sense? Good. This time, instead of having words and we have to draw a tape diagram, we have a tape diagram given to us. Go ahead and copy this tape diagram into your notebook. So when we're given a tape diagram, we have to make sense of it. What does it mean that the, there's a bracket on top and it says 168? That means that all together we have 168 of something. doesn't matter what. What does it mean that there's two lines drawn in three sections? That means we're dividing the 168 into... Three groups. And the question mark is in one section, so it's how many are in one group, right? So if you have to make up a word problem, you get to choose. There are 168 what? Anything. Give me something. Sanvi. There are 168 donuts. What's happening to the 168 donuts? They're being split into three equal groups. And the question mark tells us we want to find out how many donuts are in... One group. Go ahead and write that word problem down. You get to make up a word problem. So, as Sabi said, there are 168 donuts. Donuts. 
they are split into three equal groups. How many donuts are in each group? Do you guys agree that that word problem fits with the tape diagram? Good. OK, then let me ask you my normal same question. Is this a sharing problem or a grouping problem? And how do you know? Talk at your table groups. So we know that we have 232 people going all together to this conference. If I have one car full, how many people can fit in this one car? Everyone? Four. Do we need more cars? Yeah. OK, so here's another car full of people. That's four more people. Do we need more cars? That's another car full of four people. How many cars full of four people do we need? That's what it's asking us, right? So is this a sharing problem or a grouping problem? Do we know how many people are shared equally into each car? How many people are shared equally into each car? Four. How many groups of four people do we need? We don't know. That's what we're trying to figure out, right? So if we're trying to figure out the number of groups, or the number of cars, what kind of problem is this? Mm -hmm. Grouping. So write in your notebook, this is a grouping problem because dot, dot, dot. You might write something like, this is a grouping problem because we need to know how many groups of four we need in order to get everyone to the conference. How can we solve it? What math equation can we do to solve this problem? Zara? 232 divided by four. Good. 232 divided by four. Don't forget that the 232 is the whole and it lives in the house. Okay, can I do two hundreds divided by four? I have to regroup it to be 23 tens. 23 divided by four is? Five. five. Good. And then I used up 20, I have three left. And I have 32 ones. What's 32 divided by four? Eight. eight. And just to check, eight times four is 32, and I have zero left. That means I need, is it 58 people or 58 cars? Eight. Good, make sure you read the problem carefully. How could I use multiplication to check my work? Sorry, Nima. Good, let's go ahead and do that. 58 times 4. 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 3 is 23. Do I want 232? Yes, because that was my whole. So check, my answer is probably correct. What does this tape diagram mean? Give me a fact about this tape diagram. Haruto. Yeah, there's 138 of something in all. Good. Give me another fact about this tape diagram. Garrett. There are three in each group. There's three in each group. And what are we trying to find? The number of groups. groups. So let's write a math problem together. There are 138... Sachi? Cats. Cats. Oh, together. What, what's happening to the cats? What's happening to the cats? Sparsh, what's happening to the cats? They're what? They're being bought? As a pet. As a pet? Yeah. In groups of? Three. Yeah, three cats are being purchased at one time together. Each person buys three cats. Okay? If we're trying to find out how many groups of three, how can I turn this into a question? If there are 138 cats all together and each person is buying three cats, Garrett, what do we need to write at the end? Um, how many people are buying cats? How many people are need, need to buy cats before they all run out, right? So my next question then, is this a grouping problem or a sharing problem? Talk at your table groups. Yeah, this is a grouping problem because we know that how the cats are being shared. Harutu gets three, Swarnima gets three, Sanvi gets three, Anshul gets three. Everyone gets three cats. Each person gets three cats. We know how it's being shared. We're finding out how many people or how many groups of three cats there need to be. Very good. Okay, so now we solve the problem. What's our whole? 138, right? Divided by three. Have we divided by three before? Yeah, but as... Avani noticed that divisor has a different meaning now. Before it was we have three groups all together, how many are in each group? Now we know that each group has three and we want to find out how many groups of three there are. Okay, very good. Go ahead and check your work against mine as I divide on the board. So when I divided, I got 46 and because I, the question is asking how many people need to buy cats before they all run out, 
Answer is 30, uh, 46 cat people, 46 people. How could I check my work using multiplication? What multiplication equation could I do? I let? 46 times 3. 46 times 3. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13. 138. Was that my whole? Is that what I want? Yes. Yes, so good.